What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode, we're going to bring death to the native population that supports the, the Empire of New Spain. Let us destroy them and then we will push on towards Panama, but we will likely uh, not attack it. We may siege it, uh, we may not. It depends on how our uh, replenishment situation looks. Uh, elsewhere though, we've taken Louisiana and we have taken Paris, so it's going to be quite interesting to see next turn what the Dutch do in response to our takeover. Um, so because we have the, we have the artillery advantage, I am going to use it mercilessly, and then we are going to shrapnel the living hell out of them. So let's take two units, spread them out. A bugged gun team, which gives us an extra gun. So we can put seek units, plus an Royal Indian Infantry Guard unit on the right. Ooh, and then on the left, two Indian Infantry Guard units to hold the flanks. So, spread out melee infantry. It's like, in an ideal world, you may always want your pikes to go in against uh, cavalry. You may always want certain troops to go in against certain troop types. But in general, melee infantry in this game is personally quite similar. It's all quite similar. So, trap or shark. Round shot. Because they're too far away for shrapnel. So we're going to bombard. They had 12 pounders. Lots of shells coming in, but not enough to make it stick. Actually, it looks like they're going to abandon the right flank, so let's. Push up and take it. Bust in here and take it. You must be stupider than you look. So let's take my horsemen, push them out. No man's, push them out. Try go for the the cavalry with shrapnel shot because the cavalry is the more disruptive thing. I think once the shrapnel shot starts going off, they're going to suddenly realise they cannot uh, stand off too long. Excellent shrapnel hit. That's 17 native cavalrymen down. What about over here? Oh, ho, ho. Yep, that's why shrapnel shot's so good. It's the effect on multiple units around the target unit can be quite significant. They are continuing their concentration of troops. So we will continue our drive fold one of our flanks in. Couple of guys killed. Go for their colonial line. You guys can still go for this cavalry because you can do lots of damage here. Hello? Who did you shoot at? Fired your volley, and my horsemen are fine. Okay, there we go. Cavalry charge is off. Shrapnel 
shrapnel shot someone in the center. So we're blowing some holes in the enemy line. Push up the cavalry. Come on, camels, knock out the tribal auxiliary. If we can knock out the tribal auxiliary, then we can pull back this flank and let the infantry do the work. Retreat! Cavalry, keep pushing. Colonial light cavalry, how scattered it is. Ah! We fell for the bamboozle! Curse you, native troops! Push into the centre. Ah, you sprung your trap too early. We've had, we've got an opportunity to run away, form up our line, and then go for it. I push my camels into the middle, so they may well fall. But if nothing else, we've now got a potentially gun back defensive line. They are incentivized to charge. We've now got our. Cavalry in the mix. Where's my other horse? Push the pikes into combat. Push the dynamic swordsmen in. Push the infantry guards in. Push the cavalry in. Ceasefire gunners. You guys come around here to attack their artillery. Swordsmen go after the militia. There you go, we've broken through. Keep the push going. We have the momentum. Charge. My camels, yeah, they eventually got mobbed and that's totally fine. Horsemen go after the gunners. Okay, finally, these guns can cease fire. I mean, the battle line means nothing now. Push forward. I mean, you can keep killing them, I suppose. You can just chase after them. Do not stand still. Do not stand still. Engage them. Form square. bust their way in at cost kill this general Be careful with the cavalry because we could get mob not mobbed but stakes and stuff. Probably not gonna chase them down, but I'll I'll take the win. 
That was quite funny though. It all popped out and it's like, ha! I, I had enough room to just redeploy my army. Ah, oh, that's part of it. Um, that might be my camel's routing that did that. So I don't think I pushed them any further than about here. Still. Take the, uh, take the win. That'll push them back. 3,300 men lost. That's huge. So you men replenish. Put the capital under siege. Just because I want a bit of a break. And I want to see how the AI responds to what's going on in Europe. Because that was quite a significant... Uh, this is quite a significant manoeuvre for us. Because we've got Northern Italy bottled, there, bottled up. So none of these troops can contribute to the action. There's this going on. Which we're actually okay with. Although I should really counterattack. So that might draw in. Okay, I want to see. I just want to see what happens. Next turn, I'll counterattack with the fort. I want to see what happens. So where are the Dutch going to go? They have to garrison Amsterdam, pushing forward into the fort opportunity to intercept so this is the fight that we were going to have before but if you look they are already actually i probably don't want this army because that's the this one if i decline i want the other another full strength army to do it ah bad luck i'll counterattack with my with a full strength army there that'll be the oh they've pulled back all right then But yeah, now, the massive military-industrial complex they've got going on in um, <laughs> in northern Italy becomes dead weight. They likely cannot support it. They're offering 57 grand for trade. That's really good for the AI, but no. The end is near, New Spain. We're going to take you out once and for all. This is not the time to allow minor nations to exist. This is a time of empires. We own all of India. We own all of the Middle East. We own all of North Africa. We're pushing in on Europe. We're invading America. So. Let's make sure you guys are repaired. Right, make sure everyone's... The can replenish is replenished. Let's go through some of these. So you're going to take position over here. You're going to go back to India. And you could potentially do with placement on station. Economy. Cash money. Uh, madrasa in Spain. Let's get state madrasa because the sooner they convert, the sooner they can contribute to the war effort. So Paris. Try to take out David Hacker. No, nope, bad luck. Rock, rock, people have rioted in Morocco. So can this one unit of levy tip the balance? It can! So let's recruit another unit of levy to occupy the port. Keep the naval expansion going. Oh, Egypt. Okay, you're not at full strength yet. Workers on strike in France. That's to be expected. So here we're going to want a madrasa. Another madrasa. Another madrasa, and maybe a tavern, and maybe another madrasa. And I know you guys might think I'm overdoing it, but I really, their calcs here are quite, they're quite stubborn because they've got these Protestant missionaries here. So I'm going to need a little bit of skullduggery to tip the balance. So, yeah, so you were needed to uh, deal with any raids and to be honest that's what these guys down here are also going to contribute to letter of demands from france 
the minus six, if I exempt them from tax, it becomes minus five. It'll take me two turns to build the madrasas, so they're going to be rebelling regardless. Uh, so Rokas on strike and lower Louisiana, but now they're okay. Now you guys push up to the front, or the soon-to-be new front. Build a commercial port, recruit two sloops. Actually, you can both recruit your own sloops. So, steam pumped iron mines in Morocco. Keep upgrading all these buildings. More economy, more better. Breaking strategy, I know. Who'd have thought it? Uh, da, 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 trade port in Pensacola. We're doing that. Keep the roads going. So we've sorted out Newfoundland, the Windward Islands. Good. Good, good. Okay. Yeah, we're not upgrading anything in France yet, because they will just rebel. Move you out of the way. Okay, I'm going to need... Okay, I want to keep port open so that I can send ships back for repairs quickly. Although you want to go over to here... You're going to deploy into Europe. Let's recruit a new general. Royal Indian Cavalry Guard, Sipahi, Izobashi, Lancers. Let's go for two great guns, two 24 pounders. To Indian mercenaries. You're nearly at full strength. You're waiting on one last unit to come from here. You're an infantry general. Yes, me, Lord. Let's do Royal Indian Cavalry Guards are now maxed out. Guns to Hindu musketeers. Then in Egypt, you're probably finished. No, you're not yet. None of these are. They're okay for now. I haven't got to spend more money on them. I've got 11 grand. <laughs> Global trading company, why not? Cool. Oh yeah, and I've got all these ports to upgrade now. Dang it. Either way, 86,000 next time. So yeah, our expenditure on military matters is quite high. Let's hit end turn. Yeah, Britain's still something to be aware of. Uh, do I want to intercept? Uh, I'd rather have someone else intercept. Like you. Yes, please. Because this army... Well, the, the, the army that was that was up front was depleted. This one isn't, so... Let's put the best foot forward. But you have to wonder if... You know, what they're doing is they're kind of sort of suiciding men forward so they think you know what if they kill them we don't have to pay them genius let's get set up and let's get killing uh, fight for the hill 
why not? So, bit unfortunate because it means our artillery apparatus can't be fully set up. We're going to storm our infantry up over the hill. Heavy cavalry component on the left. Musketeers on the right. My how it's my mortars are going to be up front, but I don't like mortars. Okay, good. They're not up here. Drag the guns to the top of the hill. Push everyone up. My cavalry can walk. Being a sea, so now they've seeded the top of the hill, so my men can push up and take it. Well, the Indian infantry mercenaries are going to be in a bit a bit tighter formation than that. What? Who died? Oh, for God's sakes. My mortars killed my great gun crew. For God's sake. I hate mortars. You're being disbanded after this. Islamic swordsman, countercharge the light horse. Elephant musketeers hit the hussars. Get the cavalry around the flank. Hindu warriors in as well against the hussars. General's bodyguard's been repulsed. Another general's bodyguard, eh? I did wonder, like, why have, I, why have I got reinforcements? Oh, it's because the stupid mortars have killed my gun crew. Right, okay, sweet. Everyone mass on the Indian mercenaries. On the Hessian guerrilla mercenaries, rather. Did one of you storm onto the general's bodyguard. the melee troops happy there goes the enemy general so they're chasing my leading my mortars on a grand and merry my uh, cavalry elephants rather on a grand and merry race you men reload pour fire into the 49th Push Hindu warriors forward. You go after the line. Oh, how cute. They're putting up stakes. A really long line of stakes. Then again, they are engineers. It's kind of what they do. Slam into them with my heavy cavalry. Oh, they've put stakes in the wrong way. They're protecting from against my elephants. A valiant effort, but it will kill you in the end. There's only eight engineers left. Try kill them. Got him.
the skirmishers don't like elephants. My Ayadi, Ahadi, eight. Oh, line infantry left. Come on, take them out. Take them out, and I can get you into the action in the center again. Get over here. But now it's just like a swarm. There is no there is no melee and non-melee. There is only death. Yeah. You can run, but you can't run from the cavalryman's lads. You've killed your men. Chase down that militia. Withdraw the infantry. Go after the guerrilla mercenaries. Damn right, we're going to continue. Got some fellas to kill. Come on, kill that guy. You're not going to get him. Go for the Wildbeck infantry. I'm not going to go after the light cavalry sharpshooters, that's a bit of a waste. Come on. Nail him, it's one guy. You guys cooperate on the engineers, because they're all spread out, which means they're all going to die. Yes. Beautiful death. Death for the Dutch. Victory for Mysore. So they didn't really have a response to that. Which is interesting. It means we can then... The, the Russian army is becoming a problem. This is why I want more of a naval presence in Europe. So we're going to be engaging the Russian navy en masse. And we're going to want to take them out so we can do the same sort of economic blockade of them as we have done on the Dutch. Threshing machines go on to machined rifling. Good stuff. New town emerges in Granada. Craft workshop. Good. Lots of traits gained. Pretty much just everywhere where there's an industry building or a government building we can upgrade. Make sure we get it. Because we need as much money as we can squeeze out of things. Because we are really, really, really starting to... Well, we think how much of the world we own and how little money we are actually making with that. That's quite telling. Growth. Investment business. I mean, having all these madrasas doesn't help at all. So you... Okay, actually, let's do fleet stuff. Not a war with Greece. We are at war with the Dutch. Brigs and war galleons. Take them out. Chomp. Secure the node. You men sail to make your fortune. You guys are going to sail back and get... Four fifth rates. Two down with you. You occupy this position. You great admiral get back to India. You are replacing you. Nice. 
There's another army from Egypt recruited. Let's get my admiral out of there. Recruit or oh, embark. Sail them up to Marseille. Push them up towards this front line. Oh, <laughs> quite sure why. Okay. Oh, it's because technically you can't get there. I see. And then this sloop, or the, it's the other sloop that has the movement to go all the way back to Alexandria. You garrison Limassol. They've rioted in France. And they've destroyed the one building. They don't. I don't want them to destroy. No. This agent, man. Recruit some sloops. Down here in Cadiz. Okay, there we go. So I can get a, le a levy down to the port. The brig can sail up to Calais. Something like that for a fleet. Gentleman farmer. Good. You are at full strength. Two. Okay, one thing we might do with this army. Is send them to America. Recruit a few sloops here. Six grand over to the Americas. You're going to have to stay there for a while just to keep them happy. You, on the other hand, we're going to attack the Panama garrison. So let's huh, let's capture yet another region, uh, turn it into our religion, and then push them forward. But yeah, the madrasas are really starting to drag down our economy <laughs> because. Uh, We've got so many areas now that we don't really need madrasas in. Could go round and knock them down. Especially in India, because we've got the agents now that generate them. Or that they generate. They won't disappear. Um... Tiller on the hill. Bombard over our heads. Select all of the like-sized infantry. Boy, my guardsmen on the right. Cavalry mass on the left. Go back. Oh, okay, right. Escape. There we go. Let's go back to having our melee infantry actors sort of slow cavalry. care if they get a charge off on my infantry. Everyone push up like mad. They likely have tribal, well they, they will have tribal units hidden away somewhere but I don't really care. We're going to come in we're here to slaughter. That's what we're here for. Yeah. 
The artillery has almost made them break anyway. So let's retarget the guns. towards the town. And we're going to have a, have the auxiliary. Hello, native musketman auxiliary. Are there more of you? Or just you? Looks like it might just be you there. Okay, you men deploy between the houses, block it off. It wasn't just you, but there's not very many others. Storm up with massive confidence and speed. Slamming swordsmen run up one run one run one direction, another unit run the other direction. All my guns pound the 40th regiment. Here's the native warrior auxiliary. Shattered, go after the general. Gunners cease fire. Don't cease fire. Bombard the first regiment. Seek warriors in. Native bowmen auxiliary in. You may get a volley off, but the seek warriors are not going to be perturbed by such a manoeuvre. Push it on into the town. There we go, the fort's going down. Keep pushing on. They're kind of screwed. Get the surround off Royal Indian Infantry Guards. Charge the militia. New men charge through. Artillery bombard this concentration of troops. Push through into the native auxiliary. Just keep everyone just charge in. There's no point to being defensive here. We've got the we have the momentum. So where's my horsemen? Pursue the pursue the routing infantry. Everyone else. Attack them. We've got militia being hit by Islamic swordsmen on two fronts. You killed their general. The 9th Regiment of Colonial Militias being surrounded. Yep, yeah, it's just breaking across the front. Yep, yeah, there they go. Swarm, 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 and they cannot stop us. <laughs> Who is it that's left? Oh, Colonial Militia. Charge them with my camels, although they routed before the camels could even get involved. And I've got pikemen here too, so... Oh, see? Classic... Classic low courage fighting. See, we're all out of formation, so if they, if they had reinforcements here, we'd be 
in a bit of a pickle. But they're wavering already. Cavalry's getting some kills. It's like swordsmen are charging in. Yeah, they're shattered too. Some brave men are trying to hold us off. But they will all die. Zing, zing, zibbity boop. There goes Panama. Excellent. Repair. That's another army. Okay, let's not go mad with upgrades then, because we do have an army to fight. Can you immediately push on? Minus five. No, you cannot. I would like it if you're if you if we could spawn a priest here, Car Caracas, and push on to Bogota, push on to Panama. I would very much like that. Okay, I, I, to be honest, I don't think it's going to be very long until we start fight, having to fight a, uh, a major war or another an, a significant battle against the enemy, although the road to Brussels is open. We need to secure Paris, but the road to Brussels is open and the road to Amsterdam is even more open. So let's... Make sure everyone over here is replenishing as well. We could counterattack. But I'm going to replenish for a turn. And counterattack next turn. Yeah, but Dutch are fighting rebellions. I mean, I'm going to have to fight it, because I, I can't... Well, actually, I'm going to decline it with this army. Fight it with the next. Mostly cavalry. Form a defensive line. Repulse the cavalry. We win. But yeah, I don't want to auto-resolve, because we have so many armies in close proximity. It will deplete all of them. And that's just... Unsustainable, considering the amount of force the Dutch have in the area. You do that a few times and suddenly all of your armies are about half strength and, and you don't know it because they all look pretty good. At least from the campaign map level they look pretty good but then when you actually get into a battle you suddenly go oh no my 275 strong unit is now you know 150. So I no longer have my great guns thanks to my mortars. Form a defensive line. Let's form counter-attacking forces on the wings. I'm not interested in pushing because they are mostly cavalry. They're all cavalry, actually. So just let my howitzers do stuff. My mortars are doing stuff as well. Mostly it's my... Okay, right, let's put... Oh, I forgot to bring my general back. Whoops. Withdraw my general behind the line. There goes the dragoons. My elephant musketeers are firing. My two men go for the general's bodyguard. My Addy. Back you go, you devils. Didn't kill the general. The general is the only one to live. I oh, know he isn't. Yeah. Cease the artillery fire. Got 
one unit of light foot. Kill their enemy commander. Charge the light foot with my elephants. Just make sure we don't run the wrong direction. Then actually maybe just peel off. Let my infantry deal with them. May get a bit of friendly fire here. Elephants are big. Yeah, lost two. Actually, they're gonna. Okay, they're gonna run away from their defenses. So, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Nice. I wouldn't really describe that as heroic myself, but can't be picky. So the road to Venice is also open, actually. It will, that could be one of the things that puts us in conflict with the Prussian-Russian alliance. And that is pushing Venice, because they will have a lot of firepower very close to our borders. Another thing I want to do is I need to start building up armies ready to invade Britain. No, my emperor has died. This guy is just zero. That's a point. I haven't looked it. Uh, we're not on the table because we're not a major faction. But something tells me we'd be pretty high up. We've researched short and kai ones. We're finally going to research quicklime, but quicklime is pretty useless for us. First, before we blow all our money on upgrades and stuff. Bring this navy back with this incredibly experienced fleet. Fleet arrives. Another army. So this may, th may be the beginning of the build-up to fight Britain. Because uh, Britain's not exactly weak at the minute. I mean, yeah, like, that's that's a more interesting army. Curious thing is, who's Britain allies with? United Provinces, Russia and Portugal. So this could be an interesting way to see if we could make them break their alliance with... Um, break their alliance with Russia. Or make Russia break their alliance with them. There's the French rebels. I mean, yeah, I'm just going to water that. Who did that bring in? That brought in the garrison, but there we go. Now they're very happy with us. And so I can immediately... Okay, to be honest, this many... Is that actually doing anything? It's not providing any difference having all these madrasas, so I'm actually going to knock down three of them. Focus on one good one. Focus on knocking out some of these missionaries. Ag. I don't really care about the, um, the, the penalties it provides me diplomatically. Okay, bring you guys down. Let's take your Svandermark, formerly of the Dutch Navy, forward to Brest. So let's recruit a levy to occupy this, this port here. Oh, you can't actually go anywhere because you're block it, blocked in. Old Bill Bow. Now the rebellion's dealt with. Let's get Paris firing on all cylinders. Okay, 
you're going to push up towards Brussels instead, and you are going to push up towards Strasbourg. Because look, we've got this two small armies, relatively, plus this garrison here, which is kind of bugged, and then Venice is ours, and then it's this foot block here. And Milan is not currently feeling the impacts of bankruptcy. War weariness is a thing. Clamour for reform is still high. In religious unrest should keep going up because we're converting. I may actually push my agent up to Brussels. Start converting this population. My buggy. may come back to here as well to try and kill some of these Dutch agents. Although, well, their agents will disappear when we eventually win. More recruitment. Public servant dies. Okay, let's see how that matters. I can't remember which minister it was, but fundamentally they're all four star or better, and that's generally okay. None of my guys are particularly interesting. New national leader, Krishna, Krishna, Krishna Rajas the second. Good. Lots of traits gained. My assassin got a bit better, which is pretty neat. Excellent. That's another fleet. Recruited, so let's get on with building some more. So in terms of tech, we require machine rifling, which we are currently getting. We're at the tail end of our research story, effectively. How goes recruitment here? So you need two more Feline plus got who no we don't we don't have two desert warriors plus the Israeli. Then you'll be done. This will be another well, these are the armies we're, we're gonna start stockpiling in northern France to invade Britain. And in terms of the navy, this is a cat this is a defeatable navy. This is very much a defeatable navy. Two do not forget two very good navies here blockading the Dutch. You're going to hold your ground and replenish and eventually push towards Amsterdam. What we're going to want to do, because we're getting towards the tail end of the episode, is set up our next engagement. Our next engagement is going to be this force that was currently being... Actually, one thing I want to do... Get rid of these mortars. Can't replace them yet, but I want to get rid of them. This force is going to push out and attack the Dutch here. And that will clear out quite a significant portion of this territory we can push on take venice fortify it and then squeeze the west and also get ready for potentially an action involving prussia but looking at the timer i believe this now is a good time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time <laughs>